Hi everybody, welcome back to the painting channel. Today it's a watercolour, it's an ink and wash. It's all about Senan Cove in Cornwall. So let's roll that intro, let's see what happens. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. As I said at the start, it is an ink and wash watercolour and it's all about Senan Cove in Cornwall. It's a beautiful place to go and visit. It's a great place to paint. And I did that a few years ago and went down there, did a lot of plein air down there, which was a wonderful experience. But this time on this episode, I wanted to show you some of the devices that I use from time to time when I do create an ink and a wash and some of the inks and some of the pens that I use. But I also wanted to show you a very, very, simple device that you can use to create a lovely ink and wash. It's a method that's been used by many, many people over the years and uh, I think Edward Weston was one of the great exponents of this. So I wanted to show you how I use that and how I brought that together with an ink and wash. But before we get started, let me just say a big, big thank you to all my subscribers, all the support that you give me. And you know what I'm going to say, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. It costs you nothing to do that, but it really does help my channel grow and reach more people around the world. And that's really what I'm trying to do and trying to get in touch and, and share what I can do with other people and help you out. So that's one part of it. And if you want a lot more and you get to the end, then please consider giving it a thumbs up at the end. That also helps the channel as well. Add comments. I love reading them. I'll always answer them. On top of that, don't forget there is a Patreon. My Patreon is growing all the time. There are so many tiers, not very expensive to get involved with. And also there is a Facebook community where you can get involved with and upload your videos, uh, not your videos, your, your artwork, and we can talk about it. I can help you out. There's also uh, a Friday night live stream each and every Friday at seven o'clock, and that you're welcome to be a part of of course as a patron so take a look over there all the details are under the show more tab under this and every other video so have a look at that if you fancy getting involved you'd be so so welcome and know every penny you put into it will help me uh, support and help me underpin all the efforts that I do each week to create new content for you to watch and enjoy and to learn from. So without further ado let's get on and let's talk about ink and washes and sell and cove Enjoy. I catch each and every one of you next Friday at 3 p.m. with a new video. Catch you all then. Enjoy. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. So, I do have a couple of pens, um, as you can see, and um, they are loaded with different bits and pieces. We can discount some of them. This has got just pure water in these. By the way, these pens are three different uh, sizes more than one of course, uh, three different sizes of Pentel. They're called Pentel Aqu Aqua something, but they're actually reservoirs here that you can hold water or an ink in and deliver it down through a brush nib, such as that one. And uh, you can use watercolors or you can use ink tense pens, you can use, or pencils, watercolor pencils, and you can add water on the fly Instead of taking tons of brushes with you, you can use something like this, which will deliver water from this reservoir. It's great for plein air. So that's that. But these ones, these three, let's take those out of the way. Why this is brown, this is a sepia brown. That's why that's there. But these are three different size nibs. Let me get that one off. You've got a large, medium, and a small nib. This is a fresh one, a new acquisition. Um, and these will deliver acrylic ink. Now, acrylic ink is exactly what it says. It's intense acrylic pigment in a carrier. I'm not quite sure fully what the carrier. Partly it's going to be water, partly it's going to be binder. These are the devices that I've got. And believe it or not, this one too, which is just a family size matchstick. As you can see, it's been well used. I do carry several of them. 
and these are really good in fact once in London I was on the Thames um, doing some stuff and I absolutely forgot any device to deliver I had a pot of ink and nothing more I'd completely forgotten to bring any stuff with me so I, I looked around the floor to uh, there was a, a little underpass uh, just under uh, Westminster Bridge where a lot of um, homeless were sleeping and uh, I managed to find a couple of spent matchsticks, uh, very small ones, so my fingers got a bit cramped by the end of the drawing, but I did a drawing using that. And a lot of artists do tend to use matchsticks. They're really clever, they're really good, and they do the job very, very nicely. Um, anyway, so these are two pens. These are called Noodlers. Noodler inks and Noodler pens the idea about they're not very expensive about 12 13 quid each i think not not much uh different to that but they can carry uh, a reservoir of ink inside like any fountain pen but they've got a very flexible drawing nib ideal for sketching ideal for line and wash applications uh the reason i've got two is got two different types of ink one is uh in this one which is Noodler's own black ink. Now, the Noodler ink is not totally or immediately waterproof. You can put it down and you can activate it with a bit of water, hence why carrying a bit of water to hand in one of these. So you can just put it down and, up and apply it. This, however, this will do that very, very quickly, but it will soon dry. This is drawing ink. This is writing ink. Got a catalyst in it. That is a hardener and you've got to be careful with this it's a bit like pelican inks and other document inks it is uh, waterproof when it's dry and if you don't look after this properly you will end up with problems with a nib and also the siphon inside so two inks in there which i will draw and sketch with one of these and do a lot of small line and wash drawings now once this dry again it's impervious to water and so it acts as a great way of delivering an ink and wash and very very cheaply i think these cost about four or five quid each from jackson's and a pot of ink which will fill one of these two possibly three times um but there's an awful lot in there i tell you uh, and a pot of ink is only about four pound fifty for black ink magic magic color or fw from de la rowney all of those will do the job for you so that's what we're looking at we're not drawing with a pencil and i'm not using a dip version which is what i would do i'd normally have a little pot of ink with me and i would sketch and draw with this and not bad idea in fact mm, do i don't i don't i do i do you know i'm thinking i might just use this because the thing about this is the marks you get are really not as precise as you would like with a pen you get a really precise mark and just taking in some ink just take off the excess i've taken the liberty in the past this one i've got spares i always carry half a dozen with me but this one has been shaved up with a bit of a blade and given a semi point to but you don't have to do that so let's just look at what we've got and i'm just plotting here in my head i'm just going to put in a little slight line coming down here just as a suggestion at the moment i can firm it up later on a little bit coming down there we've got the nice ramp through here something like that check the angles if you're not too sure uh, this is the lifeboat station at Senan. Um, and let's just suggest the light boat house, lifeboat house itself on there. It's got a domed oval uh, shaped roof, as you can see here, which comes along and then down at the front.
pretty much that is the bulk of that part of the drawing done and sorted. We've got the beach, we've got a nice dark wall here. We don't have to fill in everything black, it's not black and white. But the thing to bear in mind, I think, about a drawing like this, an ink and wash drawing, is that um, the picture is about this ink drawing. The colour is merely a support act, whereas a watercolour is all about the the watercolour, the colour, and the way that the paint goes on. But with the ink and wash, I really firmly believe that the drawing, the application of this form here, whatever marks that I make at this point, this juncture in the whole painting, are truly the essence of the artwork. And that the colour that you apply later merely supports all the drawing that you've done and gives the drawing purpose and form. I'm not blacking out large black areas, I'm merely using them. Uh, there's a nice dark over there, let's bring that statement there. Some of these big marks, you see how much ink is in there, similarly to there. You can pick that up as almost like a continued reservoir. And you can deposit ink through here make all these dark fissures in the rocks pick some up again just keep using it heading back to what used to be home passing by those little towns I know so well stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every bend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving to get away Running through emotions high and low Holding on a leg For the sky, I had it all but lost and fell back down again. Spent my time playing the game where every single day was a losing battle and every drink was a dead end. Eyes on the goal, don't lose control. I'm living fast, I'm lost. As I said, this is uh, Strathmore. Uh, by St. Cuthbert's Mill and those of you who watch, I didn't see this, I've got to say I was told about it um, but they uh, featured on I think one of the Country File Type programs the other week or recently uh, as to how their little, um, they're down in Wells in Somerset Way uh, where they produce their papers and um, they are acknowledged as to being really uh, savvy when it comes to um, 
the way they make the paper in uh, for conservation in that sense they don't deposit any materials that shouldn't be into water treatments and uh, water courses so yeah hats off to them all worth supporting with that sort of ethical uh, manufactured behind their product I fully endorse that let's just come back here and um, just see where we want to do I quite like that I'm just going to add in one or two bits of detail here this has got to dry thoroughly before we can start slapping watercolors over the top So my wash, my sky in the picture hasn't got a lot going for it. It's got a little bit of white in there, but it's not a great day in terms of cloud cover. So I'm going to mix up a couple of colors. I'm going to mix up some ultramarine. No, that's not even ultramarine. Let's get it right. Let's come back in with some ultramarine blue. Mix up enough. No different now. The rules of watercolor now apply. 
so whatever you decide to do from here on on it's going to be the same light to dark through layers or wet in wet according to your needs so we're going to go in with our sky color make quite a bit of that i'll leave that there i'm going to come in with some yellow ochre and make a nice little swatch of that there a bit more water with that sort of i'm going to change the sky and i'm just going to come in and do what i want now this is not going to act sky wise as you would with a piece of rough paper and i've never used this paper before in all honesty so i don't know quite how it's going to react As a horrible mark appeared there I'm gonna to have to come in quickly I think I'm gonna put in more paint less water this time uh, so that can hopefully we can play around with that Just playing around with this because I don't know if I've messed this up or not at the moment I'm beginning to suspect that this may well have been a little bit messed up and the thing is that I've broken all the rules that if it is going a little bit horrible I should leave it alone uh, and I haven't done that so I'm paying the penalty
All right, so let's just come back in having almost wrecked the painting. And let's just see where we go with some of our darker, cooler greens in the background. A little bit of aureole in yellow, not the other one. Come in with a light value into the heel top. Come down into some of this area and across the top there. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on Lovely phthalo blue in and a little bit of violet into that Just darken it down it really does get quite dark up on the top there as that goes along the horizon line. Then it turns into a lovely turquoise color coming down in here. So we want to observe that. Like that. Add some more turquoise in. You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. You lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately Lately it's you You stole your peace Put it on me But baby, it's you like a ride but take your stuff back baby it's you 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 you, you, you. baby it's you 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 you, 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 you. what did you Say whatever and I would never hear. You've been flexing everywhere. Girl, look in the mirror. Little hop skips and jumps with the brush. And you're not going to get the same effect with that like hop, skip and jump effect that you get with hop uh, with other papers because of the surface. This is very smooth, so you need almost to be coming and scratching across with some dry brush effects if you want to achieve any loss of pigment over white paper it's not easily transformed like that so i'm almost scribbling scratching the brush across within areas to achieve a little bit of color but leaving a little bit of white paper to suggest um light or extra light and I would never hear You've been flexing everywhere Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you You stole your peace Put it on me but baby, it's you Lying like a ride But take your stuff back Baby, it's you Shine, you 
can't shit things, yeah. If I was for the time, then I would change the honey. So I never saw your face. And as you can see, we're not actually doing watercolour in the sense of the watercolour. Um, we are merely almost, it's not quite, but it's almost like colouring in between the lines with a few extra bits added and thrown in. I'm going to come in with some more of that lovely turquoise colour. I do love this colour. I'm going to add into that some uh, Oriolin. Just going to come back in with another value over this hill in certain places. Nothing ever felt as good Or as easy As when we were young Oh, oh, oh Though I felt misunderstood It was a pleasure Running away with you We were just children acting like a dog crazy naive bold and carefree we were kids having kids crazy naive. bit more cobalt into that color so cool color first let's come over most of our rock with this color not all of it, but most. It amazes me that we didn't fall apart harder than we did. Now they keep us in speaking terms. We grow and we learn I have no regrets, only forgets Oh, a big thank you to life For giving us end Oh, when the timing's right, there's no wasteland Oh, we were just children Acting like a doll It does come up really high here. I remember when I was painting further back this way um, at, on the day and uh, I had my easel set up. I was on a lovely flat piece of rock, got to say, beautiful flat piece of rock and I'm going to put a bit of coolness into there as we come up to the top. Uh, yeah, nice flat piece of rock and the bloke said to me, um, you won't be there long mate. I said, oh, okay. And now at this point, the tide was so far away from me. So far away. But, you know, before I could really finish talking to him, taking his advice, acting upon it, and starting to pack enough kit up to move it back a bit, 
I was already the the tripod was wet. I was getting soaked. My feet were wet. <laughs> it's crazy. I just yeah, it came up so fast. Um, pretty amazing, really, the way that 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 water moved. Just going to put a little bit of blue cool over there, just to give that that darker accent of blue going down there. Just a little bit of coolness. Crazy night. It amazes me that we didn't fall. bring a little bit of dark through the side of the hill coming down through here that will help lift and isolate and throw those houses out or those buildings I believe that there is actually a, looking at it again now there's another roof there that I've actually missed I'm not too worried just see if I can't Put in a little bit of surf. So by adding the uh, gouache or the white body color, we can create these wonderful surf marks on the top of the wave. It is the only place on the painting that I really need to add the body color. The white paper left during the course of the painting is sufficient to give me the highlights that I would be looking for. So the painting's done. I've had a lot of fun doing it, but as you all know, I really nearly lost it in the sky earlier. It was nothing more than the fact that I hadn't prepared myself properly with the hot press I had not used it in a little while and this was actually a new brand of hot press paper so it threw me ever so slightly to begin with but what a great recovery I think we've got a fantastic little painting to finish with I had as I say I had a lot of fun doing it, and I do hope that you've got something from it especially on how to use simple instruments like a matchstick or a, uh, some sort of barbecue skewer something that you can use as a device to draw with and create some wonderful marks so with that said adding a few obligatory seagulls and the paintings done i hope you uh, have fun with this i catch each and every one of you next week at three o'clock friday take care have fun have a good weekend bye bye when the time is right, there's no wasteland. Oh, we were just children acting like a doll.